Welcome aboard and thanks for flying with ERA, the longest serving helicopter provider in the industry. With more than 70 years of experience, our first priority is safety. We appreciate your attention while we review and demonstrate the safety features of the S92. For everyone's safety, you are required to follow all crew member instructions and comply with the posted, placarded, and lighted information signs. Federal regulations prohibit smoking, including e-cigarettes, or using smokeless tobacco on board any ERA aircraft. Hearing protection is required, and all electronic devices need to be placed in airplane mode or turned off prior to departure. ERA requires the wear of life vests on all overwater flights. To don a vest, begin by standing. Slip the vest around your shoulders and place your arms through the holes. Next, zip the vest up fully and fasten the buckle on the front. Adjust fit with the straps located on each side of the vest under your arms. If equipped, attach the leg straps to the buckle and adjust so they're snug and comfortable. To inflate, pull down on either of the red beaded handles. Vests may also be inflated by blowing into the tubes located at shoulder level. Life vests vary in color and design. Please check with a crew member if you have any questions. Warning, do not inflate your vest while inside of the aircraft. When boarding, a crew member, ground handler, or helicopter landing officer will assist you. Watch for a crew member's hand signals and follow their instructions before entering or exiting the rotor system. Approach the aircraft from the side, remaining in clear view of the pilots, and always keep a safe distance away from the tail rotor. Also, be aware of the main and tail rotor clearances while walking up helideck stairs or when approaching and departing the aircraft on the uphill side of sloping terrain. You will board the aircraft through one of the main cabin doors and your luggage will be placed in the rear cargo compartment. Items that are greater than one meter in length must be carried level with the ground to avoid contact with the main rotor blades. There are no assigned seats, but when boarding the aircraft, seats are filled from the front to the back. When seated, do not place items underneath the seats and take care not to lean or rest your head against the cabin windows as they may cause it to pop out. Before we taxi, your seatbelt must be securely fastened and remain on for the duration of the flight. To fasten, connect the belt to the center buckle and fit it low and tight across your waist with the release mechanism facing outward. Next, locate the self-adjusting shoulder straps, pull them over your chest and insert the metal tabs into the buckle. To release, simply rotate the center of the buckle in either direction. Do not remove your seatbelt until advised it is safe to do so. In the unlikely event of an emergency landing, follow all crew member instructions. When told to brace, prepare yourself by pressing your upper torso firmly against the back of the seat, grasping the forward edge, and placing both feet flat on the floor. If you're in a forward-facing seat, tuck your chin against your chest, and if your seat faces to the rear, press your head firmly against the headrest. All exits are clearly marked and illuminated with emergency lighting. There are four primary exits, which consists of the main cabin door and three large hatches. To open the main cabin door, rotate the handle to the open position, push outward, then slide the upper half of the door to the rear. If the aircraft has ditched, do not lower the air stairs, as it will interfere with the aircraft flotation. The three exit hatches are opened by rotating the handles down to the open position, then placing your hands on the bottom of the hatch and firmly pressing outward until the hatch falls free. Passenger windows may also be used as an alternate means of emergency exit. To open, press firmly outward on the lower corners of the window until it falls free. Life rafts are located on the leading edges of the left and right sponsons. The pilots will activate rafts in the event of a ditching. However, rafts can also be activated individually using the red inflation handles located on the left and right sponsons. To inflate, open the forward primary emergency exits and grab the red inflation handle. Pull the handle and the attached cord approximately three feet, then continue pulling until the raft self-inflates. Do not activate a life raft unless instructed to do so by a crew member, and only activate the raft once the helicopter has landed in the water. For all emergency evacuations, ensure it is safe to exit the aircraft by verifying that all motion has stopped, your path is clear of fire or other hazards, and the rotor blades are no longer turning. For those passengers who have attended helicopter underwater egress training, remember to have a reference point and assist others if able. As a reminder, never inflate your vest inside the aircraft. First aid kits are mounted vertically on the forward cabin wall and should be removed during an evacuation. The cabin fire extinguisher is located on the forward cabin wall by the aft-facing passenger seat. There is also one located in the cockpit between the pilots. 
Do not activate a fire extinguisher unless instructed to do so by a crew member. To operate the extinguisher, remove it from its mount and remember the acronym PASS. Pull the pin, aim the nozzle low, then squeeze the handle to release the agent and sweep in a side-to-side -side motion at the base of the fire. Once you have arrived at your destination, keep your seatbelt fastened until told it is safe to exit. When exiting, follow crew member or helicopter landing officer instructions and remain in clear view of the pilot. A crew member or HLO will retrieve your baggage. Thank you for listening. We'll be boarding the aircraft shortly. Now is a good time to secure or stow any loose items. Once on board, review the passenger safety briefing cards located throughout the aircraft. If at any time you have a safety concern or question, please feel free to speak with a crew member. In today's market, there is no substitute for professionalism. Aeris pilots, maintenance technicians, and ground support personnel are all dedicated to being the best in the business and remain committed to safety first and service excellence. On behalf of the entire Aira team, thank you for your attention. Sit back, relax, and enjoy your flights.